purpose of this video is to introduce you to the electronic time log feature through Watermark Student Learning and Licensure Software. To begin, find your course in D2L, click Course Materials, and then Content. Near the bottom of the page, you'll find a module entitled Link to Time Logs. Click here. The link will automatically redirect you to the Watermark software. No username or password is required. On the In Progress tab of the Watermark software, you'll find a list of every class that you're currently enrolled in. Courses that have a field experience component will be listed twice. In this case, we're looking at College Life 101. The course is listed above, and the internship, which is where the field experience is housed, is listed below. Once you go to the internship, you'll look for the time logs link and click here. If you're making your very first time log entry ever, you'll find a blank page with a purple box. Click here to create the log entry. You'll enter a date. You can use today's date or you can use a previous day's date, but you cannot post date or use a date in the future. You'll need to enter both an hours and minutes entry if you were in your field experience for less than an hour, say 45 minutes, you'll enter zero hours and 45 minutes. The category is not applicable to field experience students. That's only um, to be used in the case of student teachers. The description is where you type a short description of what you did or observed when you were in your field placement. So today I observed a science lesson. And once you enter your description, you can then add your time. Any time log that is added will automatically have a status of pending. The pending status remains until your hosting teacher either accepts or rejects your entry. The reason that um, a time log could be rejected is if you had the wrong date uh, or if you had the wrong hours, for example. If a teacher rejects your time lo log for any reason, they will um, include comments here and that will give you the opportunity to correct or delete. After you've entered your um, log for the day, you may have found an error and if so, you can correct it here with a pencil. If you entered um, one field experience in the wrong course, you always have the option to delete and start over. This page also has a running total of the number of entries that you've made, in this case one, and also a running total of the uh, total number of minutes or hours spent in the class, in this case 45. The um, total entries and the total time spent update every time that one of your logs is either approved or rejected. And that is how you enter a log entry in the watermark student learning and licensure system. Thank you.